Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Peppermint OS version 8. It was just released uh, yesterday, I believe it was released. Peppermint OS is based on Lubuntu, the LTS version of Lubuntu. It is a Lubuntu based Linux distribution that aims to be lightning fast and easy on system resources. It uses a uh, a hybrid desktop environment uh, of LXDE and XFCE. Uh, by employing its site-specific browser, Peppermint integrates seamlessly with cloud and web-based applications. Uh, again, it employs a hybrid LXDE XFCE desktop environment by mixing LXDE's LX session with XFCE's panel and application menu. So that's pretty unique. Peppermint offers a 32-bit and a 64-bit ISO for download. I'm going to be downloading the 64-bit version and installing it inside VirtualBox. I'm going to run through the install quickly here. After all, if you've seen one Ubuntu slash Lubuntu install, you've seen them all. Alright, here's the installer. It has chosen English for us. That's correct. We have the option of downloading updates while installing Peppermint and installing third-party software for our graphics and Wi-Fi drivers, uh, Flash, MP3, uh, multimedia codecs. I'm going to tick both of these on by default. Alright, disk installation. I'm going to erase the disk and give Peppermint the entire 15 gigs of uh, hard drive space on this virtual machine. For those of you that need to partition, you need to go down here and choose something else. We get the warning about it formatting the hard drive. We need to choose our time zone. We need to choose our keyboard layout. We need to create our username. And we need to create a password for that user. We have options for logging in automatically. I will not tick that on. We also have options for encrypting my whole home folder. I'm not going to encrypt my home folder. And the installation is running. It'll probably take five to 10 minutes to install. I'll be back. The install is complete. That took about three minutes. We need to reboot the machine. Alright, and we're booting up our freshly installed Peppermint OS version 8. See how long it takes to get to a login manager. Very fast. I mean, less than five seconds. That was very impressive right there. And let's load up our LXDE desktop environment. Well, our LXDE slash XFCE desktop environment. It's a combination of both those lightweight minimal desktop environments. So I need to get the VirtualBox guest editions working here. And we have the VirtualBox guest editions working properly so we have a full screen resolution. Now let me log back in. Alright. And I will do my standard review here. I'm going to go through the menu and see what is installed on Peppermint OS by default. I'm going to click the menu here. This is the XFCE panel and menu here. Again, it's a hybrid desktop environment of the LXDE and XFCE desktop environments. Under accessories, we have our application finder. We have the archive manager for zip and unzip. We have a calculator, character map. We have our disk utility. We have files. This is our file manager. Let's see what file manager they're using. They're using Nemo, so they're not using uh, either the Thunar file manager, which is standard in XFCE, or PC Man FM, which is usually what folks install in LXDE. They're uh, going with Nemo, which is the file manager in uh, in Mate, I believe, or is it Cinnamon? Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Nemo is the file manager in uh, Cinnamon. All right. Under accessories, we also have Image Viewer. We have our run command which is just your standard run prompt. Also under accessories we have our screenshot utility, we have our file search, we have a terminal. Let's see what terminal they've chosen here. Alright, so clicking on the terminal here does not get me to an about page. I don't get any kind of indication of what terminal they're using. The window itself says peppermint terminal but that's not a terminal emulator I've ever heard of unless peppermint's creating their own terminal emulating program which I doubt they are so being a hybrid of XFCE and LXDE they're probably using one of those terminals so the XFCE terminal is called XFCE4-terminal they're not using that one the LXDE terminal is LX terminal they're not using that one uh, it could be termite 
Now, this is not the termite terminal either. It could be Sakura. It's another lightweight terminal. Ah, that's it. So the terminal em emulator they're using is Sakura. Let me close out of that. All right, under accessories, we also have our text editor. It looks like maybe G-Edit. No, this is Z. XED. This is the standard text editor in uh, XFCE. Uh, excuse me, Zed's not the standard text editor in XFCE. Mousepad is the standard text editor in XFCE. Zed is another uh, cinnamon program, I believe. And we have our wallpaper utility. Under games, we have chess, entanglement, Tetris, Mahjong, solitaire, and spider solitaire. Under graphics, we have our document viewer. We have editor and express by Pixlr. We have Simple Scan, which is a scanning utility. Under Internet, we have our BitTorrent client. Let's see which BitTorrent client they're using. Transmission, that's the standard BitTorrent client in the GNOME desktop environment. We have the Chromium Web Browser. I guess that's our default browser in Peppermint. We have Dropbox installed by default. We have ICE, which is a desktop integration for web apps. We have our online user guide and the Peppermint form, so some uh, help stuff here for new users. Under Office we have our document viewer again. We have a link to Gmail. That's interesting. Google Calendar. That's interesting. And Google Drive. So a lot of the uh, Google web services are listed under Office. So no standard Office suite like LibreOffice or anything like that. Under Preferences we have our uh, additional drivers, Advert Blocker, AR and R for uh, screen resolution, Bluetooth manager, customized look and feel for changing uh, the window themes, default applications on exit LXDE, uh, we have the disk utility again, we have Firefox theme lock which forces Firefox to use a light theme, that's interesting, we have our firewall config, language support, monitor settings, network settings, uh, some more peppermint control center settings, power manager, software and updates, yada 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 sound and video we have GUVC view that is this program here that you see my head in that is a webcam app alright pulse audio equalizer and pulse audio volume control and then we have the VLC uh, multimedia player uh, very very good video player VLC system tools we have the decomp editor we have GDEB package installer for installing .deb packages we have our login window, printers, Samba, screen lock, software manager, the synaptic package manager. Let me log into that. This is our graphical package manager for installing and removing software or updating the system. For those that don't want to you know, use apt in the terminal, the synaptic package manager has a search field. You just search for something, say Firefox, and it'll return you know, Firefox. You just click on it you mark it for an upgrade and it installs. I'm not going to bother doing that. Alright, under system tools we also have our task manager. Let's see what kind of CPU and memory usage we're using. Should be very low. This is designed to be a very minimal desktop environment uh, mainly for older machines that are low on system resources. Alright, right now our CPU is running really really high. I gave this machine two cores of my six core CPU and it's running at 50%. What in the hell is taking all that CPU power? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why this is reading 50, 54% because when I try to sort everything by CPU, the highest thing I get is 4% and that is the task manager running itself. So I'm not sure if that was correct what I was reading there. Now it's all the way back down to single digits, 3%, 2%. Yeah, I don't think that was that was right, that reading of 52%. There's no way that this was taking 52% of the CPU. But we got it on camera. We recorded it. All right, memory is using 7% of the 6 gigs of memory I gave this virtual machine. So pretty good on memory. Also under system tools, we have our time and date, and then we have the update manager. This is just the graphical way of updating your system. Looks very similar to the uh, update manager for... Uh, Linux Mint. So you see everything's categorized with a level. In Linux Mint they do it by levels uh, 1 through 5 depending on the order of importance. Also in the menu we have uh, our settings here. 
And we have our lock screen, we have switching users, and we have the logout se session. So when I hit logout, you see we have the options of shutdown, reboot, suspend, switch us user, lock screen, logout, and cancel. I'm going to cancel. I don't really want to logout. I'm going to right click on the desktop and I'm going to choose change desktop background. Let's see what kind of wallpapers are offered here in LX, L, or not LXLE, that's a different Ubuntu based distro. This is Peppermint. Although I did review LXLE and it was a fantastic Ubuntu based distro too. But not, that's not what we're review, reviewing today. We're re reviewing Peppermint OS. Uh, gorgeous wallpapers. Wow. I always review the wallpapers on these videos because I know a lot of people, I mean that's the first thing you change really on a uh, on an installation, a fresh install. You always change that default wallpaper to something else. But man, these are the highest quality photo wallpapers I think I've reviewed on a Linux distro since I started this channel. These wallpapers are gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I may actually rip off these wallpapers and uh, save these on my main machine to have. I mean, these this wallpaper pack here is that good. Stunning wallpapers. Yeah, just incredible. Incredible wallpapers. Let me open up the menu again. I'm going to check out the uh, little control center, you know, the system settings panel here. Peppermint settings panel. We have the Peppermint control center. This we can change uh, various settings for the window manager and the theming. It's using the Pepperous uh, icon theme. That's interesting. I guess that's a take on Papyrus. And we have our keyboard and pointer settings, keyboard shortcuts. So, you know, we have some key bindings here. For example, our uh, run command, it looks like, is bound to Alt F1 and Alt F2. We can get to, uh, we can get Nemo to launch with Control Alt F. You know, so it's got some default key bindings already set, but if you want to add or uh, edit some of these, you can. Uh, we have desktop effects, some of the desktop effects for changing the opacity of window decorations, um, showing shadows under the windows, that sort of thing. Also under the settings pan panel we have customized look and feel for changing the uh, window manager theme. Again, it's the Papyrus theme. We could change it to, you know, the standard ambience theme. This standard in Ubuntu and Lubuntu. We have the clear looks theme. We have Numix. I'm going to change it back to the default uh, Papyrus here. We close out of that. We have panel preferences for editing our panel at the bottom. That's the XFCE panel. Customize Numix folder icons. Let me check that out. Not exactly sure how we're going to edit the icons themselves. Okay, we can change the default color. So basically, you can pick any color you want for your uh, like folder icons here in this theme. That's pretty cool. I really like that. Wallpapers again, language support, Dropbox, and keyboard settings. Under tweaks, we can reset the panel back to the, the default settings in case we mess something up and need to uh, get it back to the default settings. We can uh, turn on and off system sounds. We have notifications, character map, decomp editor, auto mount settings, updates, flash, and more hardware stuff, more network stuff, and your standard system settings here. So what is my uh, verdict on Peppermint OS 8? Well, I'll be honest. I've never reviewed or, or taken a look at a version of Lubuntu that I didn't love. I have never reviewed a Lubuntu based distro that I didn't love and Peppermint OS is the same way. Uh, how can you go wrong? Ubuntu based, based on the Ubuntu LTS, the LXDE desktop environment uh, slash XFCE desktop environment. It's a mixture of both but for the most part it's a LX session running, so a LXDE session. Lightweight, minimal, blazing fast, uh, beautiful desktop out of the box. I mean, the theming, the icons, the window theming, the wallpapers. Love it. A plus. Give it a try, guys. Peppermint OS 8. Peace.